pound USD. Now the pound USD did not reach this level where I mentioned that we can start selling or shorting the pound USD. However, we can see that the momentum was strong and the reversal happened immediately at this level. I just want to I just want to remind you guys that this level was again the Fibonacci 61.8 like that. And that's why we can see that there was a very strong reversal. Uh, what I was hoping for is the market on Monday just to uh, not Monday, I mean um, Thursday, just to go a little bit more up, retesting this level, and then to fall more down. However, uh, we missed this opportunity, and I wish if there was anyone who sold the pound you see already, who have gotten this opportunity, it was really a good profit for those who have sold it immediately right away. So, uh, what is going to happen next? Let's go now to the daily candles and see it. Now, on daily candles, we can see that we are on very simple previous support level right here. Just like that, we can see that this support level after this bullish breakout candle has killed its, its position as a support. Uh, this price action doesn't tell us much. We cannot expect much from this price action. So, we need to analyze uh, using support and resistance and Fibonacci levels and the trend lines. So, let's do it. Right now we are on the 4 hour chart and what I, what I can expect from the pound USD is to bounce after hitting this previous support level which has already happened. We can see the bouncing has already happened and the market closed Friday night just like that. Uh, from my expectation the market will again fall down retesting this support level before it actually continue going a little bit more up. Um, if I'm not mistaken it will continue going all the way up until it hit this previous resistance right here. Let me just be more accurate. Like that. Now, of course, I cannot just say like that without giving out the reason. We need to give out the reason for this analysis. Uh, from my point of view, uh, the pound USD is going down. Uh, the question is, where is the right moment to start selling it? Now, what we can see here on the pound USD is we can see that we had here at this support level and this support it kept its position as a support so now most likely what will gonna happen the pound USD is actually going to make a small bounce hitting this resistance for one last attempt before it actually start falling more down uh, let me just uh, analyze it together with you my friends so let me just get rid of all these lines uh, let's use the trend lines this, uh, this time to analyze the pound USD and this time I'm just going to drag it like that we can see that indeed the reversal happened just as where I can expect for it to happen and let's now see using another trend line where we can expect the next reversal to happen let me just be sure um, not accurate this one like that I'm just doing all this analysis right in front of you just to be sure that you can learn and you can analyze the same way I'm doing it right now. Exactly. That's why we can see that this support trend lines here are going to keep their position if the market will reverse and go up. It's going to hit this resistance trend line and then the market is going to fall. Now, not to mention that we have here double, a double top. Uh, we can also see that the rejection happened right on these previous levels of the resistance in the past. Just like that, I draw my resistance line right here and look what happened. The very same level I draw my resistance trend line on has been respected and the market reversed right on this level. Now, the next level of the resistance is just laying right here. Just making my line to be correct. Just like that. Let me just be sure, go to the left, just to be sure, just to be sure that the resistance line is drawn correctly. I think we need adjustments here. That sounds better, actually. Mm -hmm. Just to be sure, I'm giving you the most accurate level. Yeah, in my expectation, the EURUSD cannot reach or cannot actually... Um, 
go higher than this level here at all because no matter what uh, we analyze it using trend lines or using support and resistance we can see that this level is very strong and the market face a strong resistance right here in the past therefore this level here should be really good to start shorting the euro usd and you can close your trade once the euro usd actually hit this previous support level right here i think it's gonna go even more down however just be uh, just to be careful i need to give you a tech profit level also so therefore here once the candle hit this uh, the market hit this uh, support level here you can close your trade with the profit uh let's see how how many pips we can expect from the euro USD, from the pound usd if the market will reverse from the level i expect for we can look for almost 225 pips of profit uh, let me just again go back to the four hour chart and we can see uh, let me just adjust it right now on the four hour chart i think that is much better actually let's go to the left yes yes look at that look at that look how accurate this level is right here and right here and right here sorry my friends i'm just i just love doing this analysis right in front of you so we can analyze it together and we can learn how to analyze the market using extreme trader style hopefully it will be profitable and we are going to gain some really good profit from selling the pound usd look at that this level has been respected so many times as a resistance and a support level that's fantastic okay yeah oh my god look at that check it out how accurate and strong the level was so i would stick to my word that the pound usd should be good to, uh, for sell right on this level let me just write it for you uh sell on the level 1.30750 uh, that should be actually good level to start shorting the pound usd and you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous support level right on just write it for you take profit 1.29265 i just really hope this will be uh, what will gonna happen on the pound usd uh, frankly speaking i don't see any other scenario that can happen to the pound usd because this support level here which the market is on uh, uh, right at the moment uh, is strong but in general picture we are on a resistance that's why we can expect for the reversal to happen just a bouncing and then this resistance here is gonna keep its position as a resistance and then the market is going to fall please my friends when you are trading the pound usd make sure you are using a small lots uh, we are doing our best giving the analysis for the pound usd however we have to be very careful it's very sensitive pair and this month uh, they are supposed they are supposed again i'm saying they are supposed to exit the eu so you have to be careful uh, any news coming from the uh, uk parliament can actually change this whole analysis um or any news that can affect uh, let me tell you any news regarding brexit or suspending the parliament activities in the in the uk it can change this whole analysis this is only the basic analysis the the and the technical analysis it's not uh, you, you know what i mean right we have to always pay attention to the news just be careful what's coming uh, coming from the uk uh, regarding brexit and just be careful again i'm telling you so that was my analysis for the pound usd and thank you for watching